Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to show you how to decorate your fireplace mantle for fall. And I'm going to show you how to do it two different ways. The first is going to be a glam, more neutral color palette um, look for the mantle. And the second is going to be a traditional fall color palette look for the mantle. So I went ahead and cleared everything off. I will show you that clip in a second. And now I'm going to get started with look number one, which will be the neutral glam look. This is actually what I used on my fireplace last year and the year before that I used the more traditional fall color palette that I'm going to show you in look number two. I haven't decided yet actually which one I'm going to leave up, but I thought it'd be helpful for those that are not interested in a more neutral color palette to see the same mantle decorated with the traditional fall colors. So let's go ahead and get started decorating. option would be to just leave it like this. Um, I think this is a really great, simple, beautiful option with some different textures, some, some greenery. You have um, different tones with gold, rose gold, silver, clear, um, and so it really reflects well against the mirror. So I'm going to show you a couple things you can do to amp this up even more. So something like this that has a gold frame that would tie into the colors here, um, especially if it said something about fall. Um, you can put this behind like this. So you see that creates a little bit more of a layered effect. They have some amazing, really cute fall signs out right now in stores. If that, if you, if you already have a fall sign or you love fall signs, that'd be a perfect place to put one um, if you have the opportunity to layer on your mantle. So another option on this mantle is just, just to keep layering in more greenery, more flowers, more pumpkins, things like that. So I'm gonna add some additional greenery throughout. still layer in some other pieces here. I'm going to grab some more things. Okay, I grabbed some clip-on gold pumpkins. So they literally have a clip on the back so you can clip them to anything um, on your mantle. And I, I got some flowers. So let's see if we can um, incorporate these. beautiful. I'm going to show you the overview of it each way so that you can see it and kind of see the variations that you can do with the same look.
Now we're gonna go ahead and do the more traditional fall color palette in reds, orange, browns, that sort of color palette. So this is what a lot of people are gonna be more drawn to and that's why I wanted to provide option two because a lot of people do not like the more neutral glam fall look when they think fall, they want these colors. So let's go ahead and get started on this mantle. So as you can see, I'm actually going to start with this same. So I'm gonna start with pretty much the same pieces with the candles, the same pumpkins in gold, rose gold, silver, because they're still gonna play into that color palette, but I'm gonna use different colors throughout for everything else. that you could again leave this completely like this um, this would even be a lot for some people I think it has a really nice balance of textures and colors it still has a little sparkle um, but you still can always keep layering and adding on so I'm gonna keep showing you some things that you could keep adding in and layering some sparkly pumpkin stems that I had taken all these leaves off the stems. This would be better done with the leaves more intact, like this, and you can take them off in bigger pieces, like this would be a perfect piece. Makes it a lot easier to stick behind things, stick together so that it kind of stays better. These individual leaves obviously are not gonna stay as well. So if you're going to use the leaves, I would definitely recommend sticking with at least this part of the stem so that you can maneuver it more. to fall mantle using a traditional fall color palette. I really love how it turned out. Um, I actually think it looks really pretty. Um, kind of no matter what your style is, you can make this work by using the more glam pumpkins. It still plays into a more glam household. You could use less shiny pumpkins to make it more farmhouse or more traditional. So you can always play around with your style for seasonal decor. It doesn't always have to be traditional and what you'd expect. I love the traditional fall palette, but I also love doing a more gold toned. I love doing a white or a neutral fall palette. It just, it kind of depends what you're in the mood for. Um, and switching it up your tier is really fun too, so you can always change up your decor. So I hope both options one and two just helped give you a little inspiration, a little idea on how you can change up color palettes, how you can layer, and how you can decorate a mantle. And stay tuned for several more videos on fall decorating, fall decor, fall in the home, and all of that good stuff. So I hope you will subscribe and I hope you will stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.